طيب بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إخوة So today is the final lesson for this book which is قوائد الأربعة which is the four principles that are connected with shirk falling into shirk and that, this book was by Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab and explained by Sheikh Saleh Al-Fawzan Hafizahullah, uh, Sheikh Salih Fouzan, scholar in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and at the moment, we're going through the last principle, is Al-Qa'idatu Al-Rabi'a, the fourth principle. So, Anna Mushriqi Zamanina Aghladu Shirkan Min Al-Awwaleen, Li Anna Al-Awwaleen Yushrikuna Fi Al-Rukha' Wa Yukhlisuna Fi Shibda, Wa Mushriku Zamanina Shirkahum Daimun Fi Al-Rukha' Wa Shibda, ودليله قوله تعالى فإذا ركبوا في الفلك دعوا الله مخلصين له الدين فلما نجاهم إلى البر إذا هم يشركون. So here we just read uh, the fourth principle here which is Sheikh uh, Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab mentions that the disbelievers and the polytheists of our time, present time, are more severe in the shirk. Yeah, in the setting of partners and rivals with Allah, then the first people, the people at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the, the people who used to commit shirk at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first people who were committing shirk, they used to commit shirk in times of ease. Yeah, So they used to come commit shirk in times of ease. And they used to, you know, sincerely worship Allah in times of hardship and trial and adversity and misfortune so whenever these things struck the people they would what make the worship sincerely for allah but as for the polytheists and disbelievers of our time then their shirk yeah, they say your partners in worship with allah is all occurs all the time so whether that be in times of ease or in times of hardship and misfortune and the proof for this is the statement of Allah. So then we read the Quran ayah. So we'll read that. Uh, so that is in Surah Al Ankabut for you to refer back to. And that's pay, uh, ayah number 65. And it is, um, we'll read the full ayah. Um, so it's, and when they embark on a ship, they invoke Allah, making their faith pure for Him only. But when He brings them safely to land, Behold, they give a share of their worship to others. And this is uh, true because in a ship, and we're going back that time as well, the ships obviously have uh, progressed in technology and safety standards. But a long time ago, a person, when he would go on ship, it was a treacherous journey. They wouldn't know they would make it back alive because of the waves, yeah, because of the storms. So when these storms will come, and in the modern time, you have the plane. For example, when you're traveling on plane and you come across turbulence, you know, if it's severe turbulence, you're going to call upon Allah. Yeah. This what meant that in times of hardship, even the disbelievers, the pagans, or the, even the mushriks of time of the Prophet, they would call upon Allah. But when they were delivered to land, safety, they return back to the shirk. So let's go, uh, let's see what the Sheikh says. So he said, Al-Qaeda Rabi'a, Sheikh Salih Fawzan, wa hiya al-akhira. And this is the final. Uh, principle. أن مشركي زماننا أغلظ شركا من الأولين الذين بؤت عليهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وسبب في ذلك وادهم أن الله جل وعلا أخبر أن المشركين الأولين يخلصون لله إذا اشتد بهم العمر فلا يدؤون غير الله عز وجل لإلمهم أنه لا ينقذ من الشدائد إلا الله كما كما قال تعالى وَإِذَا مَسَّقُمُ الدُّرُّ فِي الْبَحْرِ دَلَّا مَنْ مَنْ تَدْعُونَ إِلَّا إِيَّاهِ فَلَمَّا نَجَّاكُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ أَعْرَدْتُمْ وَكَانَ وَكَانَ الْإِنْسَانُ كَفُورًا وفي الآية الأخرى وَإِذَا غَشِيَهُمْ غَشِيَهُمْ مَوْجٌ مَوْجٌ كَالْظُلَلِ دعوا الله مخلصين له الدين يعني مخلصين له الدعاء We'll stop there and we'll continue with the rest So then the Sheikh he mentions that the 
mushrikeen, the polytheists, the people who worship other than Allah, in our time uh, are more severe in the shirk than those at the time uh, where the Messenger Sallallahu was sent to them, meaning the disbelievers of Quraysh and the Arab tribes and the people at that time. And the reason for that is clear. That Allah, the Most High, He informed that uh, He informed that the this, the Mushrikeen at that time, the first ones, they used to be sincere in their worship, if they came across across misfortune. Uh, so if if they came across mis, uh, uh, misfortune or uh, things became difficult for them, so they didn't used to call upon other than Allah at that time, as we mentioned. An example in our modern time would be like the turbulence a person, uh, you know, comes across on the plane and on the sea, uh, on the boats, it would be what the the storms and the waves, because they knew that no one can save them from these, yeah, kind of misfortune, from these misfortunes except Allah, uh, the Most High. So then uh, the Sheikh he mentions the ayah on Surah Isra. So I mentioned that. And when harm touches you upon the sea, those that you call upon vanish from you, except him, Allah alone. But when he brings you safe to land, you turn away from him. And man is ever ungrateful. Subhanallah. So how great an example is that? But that Allah was addressing those disbelievers of Mecca and at that time. That that's what they did. So they used to make the worship for Allah alone. They knew Allah. Because in many other ayahs, it's mentioned who created them, who gave them sustenance, and they say Allah. So then the Shaykh says, and in another ayah, in uh, Surah Luqman, verse 32, so I mentioned that, I'll mention uh, the full ayah, and when a wave covers them, like shades, like clouds or mountains of seawater. They invoke Allah, making the invocations for Him only. But when He brings them t- safe to land, there are amongst them those that stop in between belief and disbelief. But none denies our signs except every uh, ingrate. So that was the Surah Luqman. Then uh, the Shaykh mentioned, فَلَمَّا نَجَّاهُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ فَمِنْهُمْ uh, we mentioned that uh, so when they are so but when he bring Allah brings them to save to land there are among them those that stop in between mean belief and disbelief that's answer ankabut what we already read and that was uh, you know let's just check what either that was 65 so yeah but when he brings meaning Allah them safely to land behold they give share of their worship to others so فالأولين يشركون في الرخاء يدعون الأسنام والأحجار والأحجار so the first the, the disbelievers at the time of the Prophet وسلم, they used to make shirk with Allah in the times of ease they used to call upon what? Idols. They used to call upon stones and trees. So the Shaykh here mentions that uh, as for if as for the people that these people at the time of the uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi the Bushrikeen when they when they used to fall into hardship and they knew that they were on the brink of destruction then they used to, they did not used to call upon the idols all the trees all the stones or anything that was created from the creation, they only call upon Allah alone. So if, so if, so if the if the if it is the case that the only one who can save them from these misfortunes, there's no one who can save them from this misfortune except Allah, the Most High. 
so, so the, how is a person how can someone then call call upon other than him in ease so that doesn't make sense if he's the one only one who can help you at the time of need of hardship then why call upon other other than Allah in ease so this is the you know uh, the inconsistency that the mushrikeen had at the t- first you know in the first time at the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi then the Sheikh said, Amma Mushriku had a Zaman, Yani Al Mutaakhirin, Al Ladina, Al Ladina, Hadatha Fihim a Shirk, Min Hadi Hil Umma, Al Muhammadiyya, Fainna Shirkahum, Daimun Fi Raha, Washida, La Yuklisuna Lilla, Walafi, Halat Shida, Bal Kulama Ishtada Bihim Alamar, Ishtada Shirkuhum, Wanida Ohom Lil. Hassan wal Hussein wa Abdul Qadir wa Rifai wa Gairu Dali. Hada Shay Shay Umaruf wa Yudkar Anuhum Al Ajaim Fil Bihar Anahum Ida Ishtadda Bihim al Amar Saru Yahtifuna Bi Asma il Aulia Musalihin wa Yasarithuna Bihim Miduni La Azwajal Leanna Duat al Batil wa Dalal Yakulunu Lahum نحن ننقذكم من البحار فإذا أسابكم شيء احتفوا بأسماءنا ونحن ننقذكم كما يروي كما يروى هذا عن مشايخ الطرق الصوفية. So then we will stop there and we'll carry on. So translate this. So the, the sheikh said, as for the mushrikeen of our time, or those people who fall into shirk. Yeah, and uh, those and that which occurs, uh, shirk among them uh, are those from this ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu being the Muslims. From the Muslims are those who fall into shirk, and that is a reality. So uh, because they they always do shirk in in ease and in hardship. So what, what we said in the past, the mushrikeen. What they would do, they would only commit shirk and ease. While in hardship and in misfortune and adversity, they would call upon Allah alone. While in our time, even the Muslims, those are from the nation of Muhammad Sallallahu would regret. We are we, we make dua Allah guides them to the haqq and Allah keeps us firm upon Tawheed and Sunnah. So uh, they fall into shirk, whether in ease or hardship. So they do not make the worship sincerely for Allah. Not in the in in uh, in the in the times of hardship and misfortune, uh, but but rather every time the severity of the hardship increases, they shirk, uh, they shirk with Allah and they calling upon for the like of Hassan, who's Hassan, who's the grandson of who, uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Hussein, who the grandson of uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abdul Qadir Jilani, he was a famous scholar from Iraq, a humble scholar, or scholar of Tawheed, or he was from uh, Athari Creed, he was a, a person upon Sunnah, but yet the event it lies upon him, Ar Rifai as well, and, uh, uh, well, and other than them. So they call upon these people. Hada Shay Ma'roof, and this is something known and is mentioned about them, you know, strange things. In, in, in the in the in the, in the seas, that that they, uh, if, if if severity increased upon them, uh, they would what? They would uh, start yelling out and calling out uh, with the names of uh, uh, the 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 old yeah, the the a uh, so-called walis that they call the, the, that is the uh, friends of Allah as they claim. Yeah. So that what they do. Is they start yelling out their names rather than uh, you know uh, rather than uh, calling upon Allah uh, and the righteous people and they seek aid and uh, from them or from other than Allah the Most High because uh, the callers of misguidance and falsehood they said to that, that to them so these people are from. The shayateen of ins. They are from the devils of mankind. What do they say to the people? They mislead the people. They know that Tawheed is what we're created for. 
وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون الله mentions that in Surah Thariyat verse 56 that I did not create mankind or jinn except to worship me alone they know that and with that these leaders of misguidance from mankind they say we will save you from the seas or you know from the any misfortune so so if uh, if the, something you know uh, you are afflicted with something then what they say tafu they say shout and cry uh, uh, by, by calling of our names and we will save you so this is what they say to the 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 the, 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 the general people the general people don't know this is why it's important to, for us, for every one of us, to narrate to the general people what we know from the deen, especially about Tawheed and Shirk. Tawheed will save us, and this is what we are need to be upon. And Shirk is something that will destine us to hellfire. So we need to warn them against these things. So, uh, so as is narrated from the Mashaykh, from the scholar, from these uh, sheikhs of these uh, uh, parts of Sufia. So these uh, they have many. Uh, schools and uh, uh, turuk, they call them tariqa. Yeah. So, uh, so the different tariqas of the Sufia, they mention these type of stories. So then the Sheikh says, "Wakra'u in shi'tum if uh, and read if you are able, Tabaqat al-Shirani. So this is a book, Tabaqat Tabaqat al-Shirani, fa fiha ma taqashru minhu al-jalud mimma yusabmihi karamat al-awliya. So from the, when you read that book. It will make your skin shiver, yeah. From uh, from what what they uh, name as miracles of the pious or the olia, uh, and uh, مِنَ الْبِحَارِ وَأَنَّهُ يَمُدُّ يَدَهُ إِلَى الْبَحْرِ وَيَحْمِلُ الْمَرْكَبَ كُلُّهُ وَيُخْرِجُهُ إِلَى الْبَرِّ وَلَا تَتَنَدَّ أَكْمَامُهُ uh, إلى غير ذلك من ترحاتهم وخرافاتهم فشركهم دائم في الرخاء والشدة فهم أغلظ من المشركين الأولين. So the Sheikh he says when you read this book, your skin will shiver because of what they call you know miracles of the pious, and they mention that they will save from the seas, you know, the people who are in distress in the seas, and that. Uh, you know, one of the sheikhs, he, you know, they, they were mentioning there that he will be basically extend his hand out to the sea and he will carry the ship or the boat, all of it, and he'll take it out of the sea onto land and without getting his what? His sleeves wet. Subhanallah, yeah? Without getting his sleeves wet. And other than that, from the, uh, you know, nonsense, yeah, from the... Uh, uh, the, the this drivel that they come out with, yeah. So th- this is what they mention, yeah. Uh, and uh, from the superstitions, so their shirk is always in ease and in hardship. So they are more severe than the for whom aglad aglad min al mushrikin al awali. So they are more severe in the shirk than the mushriks of what Mecca at the time of Mecca at the time of the Prophet So here, this book here, I just pulled out. Just an example, just to show you what this book in- includes. So, inshallah, I'm going to try to share the screen here, uh, if able. So, here, uh, in this uh, website I just found, I'll try to Google it. And then, uh, Sheikh, he mentions here, a Sheikh, wal madhkur fi fil kutub, bi khasat al kutub ma al asaf al shadid. طبع أشرات المرات في القاهرة اسمه طبقات القبرة للإمام الشعراني هذا رجل يترجم لعلماء أفادل يكفي أنه ترجم لأشرة المبشرين للجنة ولكبار العلماء الذين جاءوا من بعدهم ثم أصف وإن حتى في, في التراجم حتى وصل إلى ترجمة, ترجمة بدوي وأمثال هؤلاء من المعروفين من الصوفية فيروي أنهم أشياء هي كما قلنا إحانات بل هي كفريات يذكر في ترجمة أحدهم وهذا الكتاب مطبوع 
وأشرات طبعات يذكر في ترجمة أحدهم أنه قال تركت قولي لشيء كن فيكون 20 سنة أدبا مع الله يعني وصل إلى مرتبة ألوهية بل إلى مرتبة الربوبية تركت قولي لشيء كن فيكون 20 سنة أدبا مع الله أما ما قبل ذلك وبعد ذلك لم يكن متعدبا مع الله فكان يقول لشيء كن فيكون هذا كفر والشرك في في ربوبية هذا ما كان المشركون يشركون به أن الشيخ منشز عاية وعاية ولا إن سألتهم من خلق السموات والأرض لا يقولون لا يقولن لا هذا ذكر هذا ذكر أنه هذا من الواسلين من كبار الكرامات يا جماعة وهذا ما جاء أشياء كثيرة وكثيرة جدا نعرض نضرب صفحا أما في هذا الكتاب من السخافات والكفريات باسم الكرامات كرامات الأولياء وأذكر لك that is the so I'm just going to translate what the Sheikh basically mentions that here the Sheikh uh, Sheikh Albani that you mentioned the, uh, Sheikh Albani rahmallah he was a scholar from born in Albania his father migrated with him to Syria and he was a major scholar uh, especially in, in, in the field of Hadith but anyway the Sheikh he mentions that in a book, uh, you know, uh, that was printed 10 times. Yeah, a book that was printed 10 times in Cairo, in Egypt. His, his name is Tabaqat al-Kubra li Imam Sha'rani. So this is the book that Sheikh Sali Fawzan mentions. If you read that book, it's full of what these, uh, super, you know, uh, statements of kufr and disbelief and, you know, uh, superstition and all these other uh, weird statements. Then he said, this man, Sha'rani, he he translated for the scholars great things, yeah, great things from the scholars. And the sufficient of his uh, from his translations is his translations for the ten promised jannah from the companions, uh, jannah. And then he wrote also from the great scholars. Uh, he uh, he wrote about them. Yeah. Uh, then uh, with regret, he uh, you know he uh, deteriorated. He deteriorated in his uh, in his uh, uh, trans uh, translations, so he went to uh, started translation for the likes of Badawi, who was a Sufi, and the likes of them from those from the Sufi, from the Sufis, and he is uh, narr- narrated from him something strange. Uh, so they, they are the, so he translates also insults, yeah. Rather, uh, statements of disbelief that are mentioned in his uh, translations. Uh, and this book that was translated 10 times, which is the Sheikh uh, mentioned, Tabaqat um, Sha'rani, it mentioned in this uh, uh, book is that one person said, someone says, I left my statement of Kunfayikun. And we say, what, do you mean? what does Kunfayikun mean? Be and it is. It's the statement of Allah. Allah says, be and it is. We know that. So this person, one of the Sufis, he mentioned that I left my statement of be and it is for 20 years with, uh, as to respect Allah. Meaning that he went, he reached the level of worship, you know, the uluhiyah, or, or, or to the level of lordship, you know, he the lordship. He's trying to, you know, say that he can create by saying kun fayakun. But the only reason he didn't say kun fayakun that he had respect of Allah. Na'udhu billah. So he's saying that he's a creator other than Allah. So he's saying, I left my statement kun fayakun for 20 years to, you know, showing respect to Allah. But as for, the, the, as, then the Sheikh says, as for the, uh, before that, and after that, then he didn't have respect with Allah. Is that what he's trying to say? Uh, and he used to say, to say something, kul fayakun, uh, fayakun, ha, this is kufr and shirk in rubi and lordship because Allah is the only creator. There's no creator besides Allah. And this is, uh, uh, and this is what the mushrik, and this is what not even what the mushrikeen of Quraysh were upon. Because when, uh, when uh, if we get the ayah translated of this, wala in sa'altahum, so I'm going to uh, get that ayah. So this is the ayah that we mentioned, you know. Yeah, where, where it proves that uh, uh, 
and that the uh, mushrikeen uh, at the time of the Prophet وسلم, that they used to worship Allah yeah that they worshiped Allah so he says wa in sa'altahum yeah I got that so it's surah toba so if you ask them about this they declare no this is the other one wa in sa'altahum yeah that's it surah ankabut so it's a verse ayah number 61 ولا إن سألتهم من خلق السموات والأرض وسخر الشمس والقمر لا يقولون الله فأنها يؤفكون. so so he said and if you were to ask them who has created the heavens and the earth and subjected the sun and the moon they will surely reply Allah. how then are they deviating as polytheists and disbelievers? so even the mushrikeen at the time of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم would would know that you know Allah is the one who created all that. yet this this person the Sufi he mentioned that in a book. So they had a big who had Vaseline. So he basically mentioned that he's one of those who've reached a high, you know, we mentioned that Vaseline or Vasalun uh, are those who think that they're Sharia, they're above the Sharia. It doesn't apply to them. Um, then he mentioned uh, uh, another one where uh, it was mentioned, Ru'ya Annahu Yafal. That was mentioned that a person used to do Fahisha. He used to do. He said he saw also said Al Oliya Kadalika Yadkur Yadkur Kissa Kissa Dalika Rajul Al Ladi Ruya Anhu Yaf al Al Fahisha Fil Himar Ala Kariya Tariq Fa Ankaru Dalik Alehi Fakala Hunaka Safina Fil Bahar Tagrak Tagrak Fana Sadat Tuha Hada Ma Mathkur Fi الكرامات بإجماع يا جماعة وهذا ما جاءه أشياء كثيرة وكثيرة جدا نعرض نضرب صفحة. so basically the sheikh he said there's an engine, another mention of one of these guys so called righteous and you know we're gonna sheikh to mention it that is mentioned that he was seen yeah uh, that he was seen that he was doing uh, obscene act with a donkey in the middle of a path نعوذ بالله so he was doing bestiality basically. And the people, you know, they found that repulsive and rejected that from him. Uh, so then he said, what? What did he say? Oh, there's a ship in the sea that was about, uh, uh, that was going to, you know, sink. And I stopped it from sinking. Yeah. So then he, they mentioned, oh, he's an all year. Now, Alhamdulillah. So this is the type of uh, thing mentioned in that book. Anyway, going back to the subject here. So then the Sheikh, he says, so you can just imagine, you know, these are the things, Kufr and Shirk, that are contained in these books of Sufis and the Shia. وَعَيْدًا كَمَا قَالَ الشَّيْخِ فِي كَشْفِ الشُبَحَاتِ مِنْ وَجْءَ آخَرِ أَنَّ الْأَوَّلِينَ يَعْبَدُونَ أُنَاسًا صَالِحِينَ مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْأَنْبِيَاءِ وَالْأَوْلِيَاءِ أَمَّا هَأُولَاءِ فَيَعْبَدُونَ أُنَاسًا مِنْ أَفْجَرَ النَّاسِ وَهُمْ يَعْتَرِفُ يَعْتَرِفُونَ بِذَلِكَ فَالَّذِ فَالَّذِينَ يُسَمُّونَهُمْ الْأَقْطَابُ وَالْأَغْوَاثُ لَا لَا يُسَلْ لَا يُسَلُّونَ وَلَا يَسُومُونَ وَلَا يَنْتَزِحُونَ عَنِ الزِّنَا وَاللِّوَاتِ وَالْفَاحِشَةِ لِأَنَّهُمْ يَزْعَمُونَ لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِمْ تَكَالِيفٌ فَلَيْسَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَرَامٌ وَلَا حَلَالٌ إِنَّمَا هَذَا لِلْأَوَامِ فَقَطْ وَهُمْ يَعْتَرِفُونَ أَنَّ سَادَاتَهُمْ لا يسلون ولا يسومون وأنهم لا يتورعون عن فاهشة ومع ذلك يعبدونهم بل يعبدون أناسا من أفجر الناس كالحلاج وابن عربي والرفاعي والبدوي وغيرهم So the Sheikh he mentions here and also as is mentioned by Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab in his book Kashf al-Shubahat Yeah uh, you know, uh, so basically, uh, that's another book, inshallah. Maybe Brother Shaib or myself go through, and uh, you know, it's a really beneficial book. Uh, and uh, in in regards to the topic of Tawheed, so the Sheikh says uh, from the, from the from this aspect, uh, he mentions that the, the 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 ones who used to commit shirk at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu they used to worship people who are righteous. As we mentioned, if you look up past in the past lessons, what do we mention about the idols? Lat, Uzza, and all these, you know, some of those were righteous people that the people then took the tree 
or the stones carved in the, the you know, carved up and started worship them. So used to actually, in the origin, they used to worship the righteous people, all from the, the angels, all from the prophets, yeah, all from those who they thought they were the only, uh, you know, pious people who were friends of Allah. But as for these people, in our time, they worship people who are from the worst of people, yeah, from the most obscene people. And they confess that. So, so those who they they call themselves the leaders uh, of the, the you know these particular groups, they don't and who are worshipped, they don't worship, they don't pray to Allah, they don't perform salah, they don't fast, yeah, and they are not free from zina. They actually fall into zina. They commit zina. These people, and they commit acts of sodomy. Nauzu billah, liwat. And they all commit all sorts of other indecent acts because they claim that they are not accountable. They are not accountable by the Sharia of Allah. That they are reached a high level now. So they, they, there is no haram for them and there is no halal for them. Everything is halal for them. So this is for the the general people only. Halal and haram is only for me and you and all the rest of the people. While these Sufi leaders, oh no, it's, it's okay. And these maybe Shia, whatever, they believe the same. And they also confess that their leaders do not pray. So the general folk who follow these people, they, not, they confess that their leaders don't pray and they don't fast. And that they, uh, so the, they said that they don't uh, pray and they don't fast. And they also say that they don't abstain from any obscene acts. And with all this, they worship them. And they worship people from the most obscene and filthiest of people, Kal Halaj and Ibn Arabi, who you know come out with statements of kufr as well, and Rifai and Badawi and other than them. So then the Sheikh he finishes with a final uh, uh, statement here. وقد ساق الشيخ الدليل على أن المشرقين المتأخرين أعظم وأغلظ شركا من الأولين لأن الأولين يخلصون في الشدة ويشركون في رخاء فاستدل بقوله تعالى فإذا ركبوا في الفلك دعوا الله مخلصين له الدين سورة الانكبوت و 65 that we already uh, mentioned so then uh, the sheikh here he mentions that uh, uh, the sheikh already is conveyed, the sheikh bin Abdul Wahad has already conveyed the proof that the mushrikeen uh, of this time are more severe you know, in the shirk than those who preceded us from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because the people at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make their worship sincere in times of hardship and in times of uh, you know in uh, misfortune or trials and they used to commit shirk in the times of ease and they, uh, and he used the proof the ayah of Surah Ankabut, which we mentioned again, which was um, so Surah Ankabut is let me just get that for either said for either Rakimu, yeah. So, and when they embark on a ship, they invoke Allah, making their faith pure for Him only. But when He brings them safety, uh, safely to land, behold, they give a share of their worship to others. So wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een With that we finish inshallah and uh, we'll continue with a new book after the conference in, uh, I do advise uh, whoever is able to come down to the conference on Saturday and Sunday on, in Birmingham but it'll be on Thursday and Friday on uh, in London by Sheikh Suleiman al-Rahili is coming Hafizullah, one of the teachers that, uh, the teachers of the Masjid Nabawi in uh, in in uh, Masjid in uh, in Medina, and he's uh, the actual Imam of uh, Masjid Kuba, the first Masjid built in Masjid in Medina. So uh, it'll be a great honor to go down and benefit from a scholar yeah, who is from the inheritance of prophets. Remember, the prophets do not leave behind dirham or dinar, as mentioned in the Prophet Sallallahu Hadith. Inna warrathu al ilm. Yeah. So they they did the prophets didn't, didn't leave back as inheritance gold or silver. Rather, they only left ilm. So whoever takes that ilm, 
has taken a great fortune and obviously the inheritors of the prophets are the scholars huh? so inshallah if you can uh, be there that, that will uh, be a great benefit and uh, inshallah we with that we finish subhanakallahu wa bihamdika shadu la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu alayk